Pre-production began on the Storm very early. This allowed me to have storyboards, animatics and 3D blocking before any production aspects began, giving me a clear idea of what would need to be done. To ensure I had the right capabilities to create the production, I learnt how to use the appropriate software used in each production, including Unreal Engine, Nuke, RealFlow, Maxwell, Deadline and Quixel. The most notable competitive framework for the Storms were Pixar Short, Partly Cloudy, which utilised volumetric characters, and Friends With You, Cloudy, which followed the creation of Storms and Rain. Before production could begin, I created a pipeline structure for both the Storm and Written on the Bathroom Store. Each production had its own separate software packages and different methods of transferring and filing export. I sourced a lot of reference video and images for the creation of the storm battle sequence and the aesthetics of the park in the Safe Shots production. To better convey my ideas to my peers, I constructed a mock-up previs of the storm scenes and main assets in Unreal Engine, helping form an idea of how the animation would look. The first step was setting player controls in Unreal Engine for the Safe Shafts production. The production required both VR headset movement control and mouse control for full accessibility to audiences. Creating the level environment required more realism than I could have achieved on my own. To achieve the realism, I purchased a realistic grass pack that added resulted in a better looking environment. As well as creating the environment, I rigged and voiced the council worker character with full facial and hand rigged for better character animation. The level design for the production was very agile with continual changes being made to the level as development to the production continued. The last part of my testing was handing the completed controls to the director and testing the play controls with both the Oculus Rift and mouse input. Because of the realistic nature of Maxwell Render, I turned to using Quixel for fast, high detail texturing and normal map creation for better looking assets. All assets used in the Storm and Safe Shouts were modelled by me to be as low poly as possible and textured using Quixel. Motion capture played a key role in the Storm production, requiring an experienced actor to act within the motion capture studio for clean data. The raw motion capture data was used for testing on the character models and then edited and cleaned by the motion capture artist. With the motion capture data I could then simulate different ways of particle emission from the character. Although the Maya fluid emitter looked good for clouds, it was very expensive to simulate and was not compatible to render with Maxwell. The final real flow simulation of the characters was pleasing, but I believe with a bit more development the character could have looked a lot better. Real-flow particles were all simulated to mimic real-life effects, including the cannon blasts from the ship's cannons. Particles were also used for the title to create a more conjoined feel throughout the production. Particle-based volumes within Maxwell volume containers were used to create the cloud scenery. These were open VDB volumes that were very quickly rendered through Maxwell's volume rendering capabilities. Work on written on the bathroom stall involved creating small dance cycles for use in the background of club scenes within Toon Boom. Material creation within Maya used the Maxwell layered materials to create stunning base materials which textures could then be applied to. Maxwell Grass played an important role in the development of the storm, with the grass having fine controls for creating the exact type of grass I was after. Rendering in Maxwell is very different to rendering with most other renders. Using sample layers and physically based rendering, you are able to build fine layers forever. Each level takes 1.5 times longer to add to the last, so it is very easy to see how the scene will look in a matter of milliseconds. Using Deadline, I was able to set a time limit for each render and using the MXI file format, resume renders from their last sample level to achieve clear renders. For creating the rain, rather than simulate the rain in real flow particles or Maya fluids, I rendered out custom rain drop GPU particles in Unreal Engine for easy compositing in Nuke which natively read MXI formats. The audio of the storm was created using Audition for an immersive 5.1 sound experience. 